Right, today we're starting our C5 videos. Uh, we're looking at exothermic and endothermic reactions and we're going to use five reactions and we're going to be able to classify those from the temperature changes. So the reactions that we've got are hydrochloric acid and magnesium, then hydrochloric acid and sodium hydrogen carbonate, copper sulfate and zinc, water and ammonium chloride, and then copper sulfate and magnesium. So let's get started. Here's our first experiment. We're looking at hydrochloric acid and magnesium. So in here I put 15 centimetre cube of hydrochloric acid. Here is my piece of magnesium. So to get our start temperature, which is when we're using a digital thermometer, it's 18.1 degrees C. So I'm going to record my results in this table and you can record them in yours. So I will add the magnesium in a moment. So let's go with the magnesium. And as you can see here now, there's a reaction occurring between the magnesium and the hydrochloric acid. It's fizzing quite strongly because as we know that an acid and a metal gives us hydrogen and a salt. Now I'm going to leave this and we're going to take the temperature and I will stir it so that we get an even temperature and we'll look at this when it's completed. Now I'm going to stop it now because we've got the idea of the temperature rise. As you can see on the digital thermometer here is reading 34.6 degrees C. It probably got just a little bit more, but it's enough. Moving on to our second experiment. This time still going to use hydrochloric acid. Now obviously the start temperature is going to be the same as the previous, 18.1 degree C. I'm going to add sodium hydrogen carbonate to it and then we'll take the final temperature there. As you can see it fizzes up quickly Just going to, and let's get the temperature now. Now here we can see this one the temperature actually drops and it's gone down, as you can see, to 13.3 degrees C. So, different type of reaction. We'll talk about that later in our discussion. Our third experiment, we're going to use copper sulfate solution. And again, that start temperature is 18.1. To that, I'm going to add powdered zinc. One two spatulas and we will look then for a final temperature there so stirring it after our 18 one you can see that the temperature is rising keep stirring it Other evidence that there's a reaction occurring, if you look you can see some reddy brown copper which is being formed there. The blue, the blue of the copper sulphate is getting lighter. As you remember this is a displacement reaction. So again we're going to look here the idea that reaction is getting finished. Temperature is, as you can read on the thermometer there, 34.1 degrees. So this time we've got a rising temperature. So again, we'll look at this as our classification of reactions. Here's our fourth experiment. We're going to use water and we're going to dissolve ammonium chloride in it. Now, our start temperature of the water is slightly different. 
you can see it's at 17.6 degrees C. Now, I'm going to add ammonium chloride, one spatula at a time, then I'm going to stir it. So, it's a small spatula, let's add a little bit more. I'll stir that to dissolve it, and we'll look to see what happens to the temperature. And you can see our temperature is down to six. Our temperature is down to 16.3 degrees, and it does feel noticeably colder on the hand. So, again, use this to look at the idea of classifying. All right. So our fifth and final one. Looking at our demonstration here again, and this is we're going to use copper sulfate and magnesium powder. And this has gone back to 18.1 degrees, so which you'd expect. Now I'm going to add the magnesium to it. So one, two, I'm going to stir it so we get a reaction. So as you can see already, the temperature is rising. You can see it's up to 37, 38 degrees. So a very vigorous reaction here. Well, the biggest riser of the day, we're up to 50 degrees. And this is really feeling quite warm here now, 55. We've hit the 60 barrier. So, and it's really hot to my hand now. I wouldn't fancy a shower in this heat. 63. So, I think we've reached the peak. We don't seem to be rising anymore. No, 63 degrees C. So, a big rise on that one, 63.6. Now, what I want you to do now, work out the temperature changes and then classify the reactions into two groups and then see if you can explain them in terms of what are exothermic and what are endothermic. See you later.